fun thing about this exhibition is that visitors can follow in James Bond's footsteps. Um, when we were conceiving the show, we looked to the films, obviously. Um, and the films have a defined narrative structure. And how the show evolved was that we decided to take the places that James Bond visits and create spaces with, within the exhibition that reflect that. I kind of tried to craft the shape of the exhibition and the flow of the exhibition together with Abe Rogers, who's the official designer. And we together chose the contents of the exhibition. And that was the most challenging thing, because as you can imagine, in the beginning of the Bond films, there's very, not a very great amount of content being kept. But as you move on through the 80s and then into the 90s and 2000s, everyone was much more aware of the value, you know, the iconic value of what they had. And so for every costume that you design, they'll take one to the archive. And uh, so we did have much more access to things later on. And what we decided was, because there wasn't a lot for the casino room, for instance, from early, we would recreate very, very painstakingly some of the early evening dresses. And I think they're very successful, the ones we did.